Hi everyone. One week ago, our country lost two giants of advocacy for civil rights in America, Congressman John Lewis and the Reverend C.T. Vivian. They marched with more than 500 people from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama on March 7, 1965, on a day that became known as Bloody Sunday because of the way that the marchers were attacked and beaten by police. They organized lunch counter sit-ins and freedom rides and were tireless advocates for voting rights. Lewis was elected to Congress in 1986 and was re-elected 16 times, representing Georgia's 5th District until his death. He visited SU in 2004, sharing his experiences with members of our campus and community as part of a lecture series hosted by PACE. In his life, he demonstrated almost unimaginable courage and bravery. He challenged us to show up for each other and for future generations, and he never stopped his push for a more just society. Lewis and Vivian were each awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. We are a better nation because of them. This Sunday, July 26th, marks the 30th anniversary of the enactment of the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA. This groundbreaking legislation helps to ensure that people living with disabilities have the same access and opportunities as everyone else by prohibiting discrimination in employment and other areas of life. Advocating for and passing laws related to civil rights is the bedrock of freedom because it allows people to live their lives and chase their dreams regardless of their identity. Salisbury University remains committed to this ideal. Our Disability Resource Center, the Disability Student Club, and other campus organizations work to ensure equity in higher education by serving the needs of all our students and faculty and staff every day. Finally, we know you have lots of questions about how we'll be returning to campus in the fall in light of COVID-19. I'll discuss more updates with you next week, including changes for Seagull Athletics and other topics. Also, I hope you'll tune in to a university town hall that I'm co-hosting with our staff senate next Thursday, July 30th at 5 p.m. It can be viewed on our town hall website or on SU social media. Anyone is welcome to submit questions in advance, and I'd like to hear what's on your mind, particularly if you're an SU staff member. Questions should be emailed to our Stay Informed email address by noon this coming Monday, July 27th. Thank you, and have a nice weekend.